wanted to go ahead and re-record what I worked out for number 19 because Mrs. Bush pointed out a good point about this problem. So I didn't do anything incorrect in the last video. I'll go ahead and work out that part. So let's plot B and A. So this is A, or I'm sorry, A and C. So you can see that we have a vertical line. What I did first is I actually took AB colon AC and I rewrote it as AB over AC and said that was equal to 2 over 5. That's a 2, I'm sorry, in the packet it didn't copy correctly. Um, I now know what the actual value of AC is. AC is actually equivalent to 10. I can do some cross multiplication and find out that 20 equals 5AB, so AB is equal to 4. So in the last video, I said, all right, well, that would mean if this is A, 1, 2, 3, 4, this must be B, which is the point negative 3, 2. Do you realize my error? I was short-sighted in thinking that B had to lay in between A and C, but it doesn't necessarily. It could be up here. One, two, three, four. If this was B, this all would still hold true. The points would still be collinear. They're still in a straight line. And AB would still be equal to 4. It's just the new point would be up here at negative 3, 10. So I thought that was pretty cool that it could be either one of those. So n is definitely negative 3, but q could be either 2 or 10. If it was the actual FSA test, uh, you would not, do not put both, unless told to do so. So I don't think you can put two answers in here, um, but I just wanted to like, let you know. Maybe they would say something like, um, if B is not in between A and C, then where is B, or something like that. 